Hello, everybody. My name is Zed Al Sayed. Uh, my name is spelled Z A Y E D. Last name Al Sayed A L dash S as in Sam A Y Y E D. Uh, I'm an attorney here in Phoenix, Arizona. I represented, uh, along with two other lawyers, at the at the initial appearances when 72 people were arrested uh, for protesting peacefully at Arizona State University a couple weeks ago. Today, those people were set to appear before the University Lakes Justice Court for their arraignments. Every single one of these people who appeared for their arraignment had their cases dismissed without prejudice. The reason for that is because the prosecuting agency, Maricopa County Attorney's Office, did not file any charges, nor did Arizona State University Police Department file any charges with the court by today. The issue, and this shows us a grave deficiency with the Arizona Rules of Criminal Procedure, where somebody is booked and is taken to the jail, has an initial appearance before a judge at the jail on a misdemeanor. And what happens is each one of these people had a court case number, an official court case number assigned to them and were ordered to appear before the Justice of the Peace today, all to hear that their cases are being dismissed without prejudice. Why? Because the state did not file charges. That shows us a grave deficiency because case numbers should have never been assigned. Nobody should have come, had to have come here. What is a dismissal without prejudice? It means that the state has up to a year from the date of offense to file charges formally if they so choose to do so. And if they do so, there are many volunteer lawyers here today. Approximately 10 lawyers came and stood and volunteered their time to assist with these criminal charges. Every single lawyer is a believer in the First Amendment, in the right to free speech, the right to assemble, and that is why we are here. We are here to ensure that people's rights are not infringed on when they want to protest and they want to freely express their beliefs. This has had a grave impact on all of the students. It has had a grave impact on the non-students. Everybody that's been arrested, it has impacted their life one way or another. Whether they've been trespassed from Arizona State University, whether they had to leave housing at ASU, could not walk for graduation, had to leave work, the stress of knowing that there are, there, that there are criminal charges against you and now every single one of them has a record that will show up when a background check is done and they have to answer to employers in the future as to what happened, why it happened, and to prove that the case was dismissed without prejudice. That is a grave irreparable harm that was caused by the state. And unfortunately, every single one of these people has to deal with that. I wanna thank every single person who came out here today to show support for these individuals who were arrested, who were arrested for peacefully protesting, peacefully expressing their opinion against a genocide in Palestine. I wanna thank all the volunteer lawyers who came here today to assist and spent numerous hours, tens if not in, in total, hundreds of hours have been spent to defend these individuals. Thank you all. Take a few questions. Can you talk about what kind of difference it would have made had the judge decided to dismiss with prejudice? Had the judge dismissed with prejudice, we, these students, these protesters, everyone who was arrested will no longer have to stress being charged at a later time. The state now has up to a year to file formal charges. So everybody here is gonna be anxiously waiting to see what happens over the next year. Not only that, it would, had the judge dismissed with prejudice, we would have had finality. We, people could have now gone back and gotten their fingerprint clearance cards. A lot of people lost them. So they could have gone back and said, my case is done, shown finality, shown finality to their employers. A lot of stuff is riding on uh, a lot of a lot of stuff is riding on what happened here today. So 
when you say fingerprint clearance cards, can what are those used for? What types of jobs? Or tell me about teachers, doctors, pharmacists, vets, uh, veterinarians, all people who volunteer and have to and, and go on a on a field trip with their with their kids at school need a fingerprint clearance card. So if you're someone who deals with children, you need one. If you are a doctor, you need one. And with you not having it, it can it can cause great it can gravely impact your employment. Can you give some examples of some of the ways these arrests have impacted these students and other people that are non students with their jobs, with their education, with suspension, things like that? Some of the students were ready to graduate and ready to go to their uh, to walk for their commencement. They could not. Some of them were some of them were uh, waiting to take a, one last final to graduate. They could not. Some of them are now having to answer to their employer or having to disclose to a certain licensing agency, whether it's the medical board, pharmacy board. Uh, to, they have to disclose this arrest. So that's that's the impact that it's having. Do you know if anyone has lost their job? I don't know. So what's uh, what's next? What where do we go now from here? From here, it's uh, from here. We wait on the state. It's in the it's in the state's hands, and we strongly urge Maricopa County Attorney's Office to thoroughly review this and to see that these are people who are practicing their First Amendment, and that Arizona State University Police Department was infringing on their constitutional rights. Awesome. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Zaya. Thank you, everybody, for being here. This is going to go ahead and conclude our press conference. Thank you for every much show up today. We know that um, we got to keep the support and the pressure for the students. We know that ASU is still continuing to be punitive, and so there is a number of calls to action that we will continue to see coming from the ground. And so we encourage you all to keep an eye out, because that is also what's coming next. Thank you, everybody. This now concludes our press conference. Thank you, everybody, for showing.